away and running at the fairgrounds. Caviar Resolution in the Navy cap. Happy sails in between horses. Magical Stardust is right there, too, as they enter the first turn. We trail back here in the early stages. The 10-year-old Megan Clare and Lumberjack Empire, orange with the black stars, with the rail, and they have seven furlongs to go. So for Emmanuel Nieves, Magical Stardust takes the top as they go to the back of the track. Magical Stardust leans by a length. Edgar Morales has happy sails right there with the front runner. As they go up the backstretch, it's a break of two with Adam Baskitza. After breaking sharp, Caviar Resolution gallops along in third for Aubrey Green. Lumberjack Empire is running in fourth with Brianne Culp. Megan Claire trails the quintet here in the Thursday opener. 24.92 for the lead part at the four and a half. Magical Stardust allowed to dictate terms. Magical Stardust doing this easily out in front as they head toward the far turn. A half mile clocked by Magical Stardust in 50.03 seconds. Still tracked by Happy Sales. Three furlongs to go. Caviar Resolution remains in third place. Then Lumberjack Empire, who's six lengths off these leaders. As they come toward the quarter pole, and Megan Claire remains last to the five. Happy Sales up to Magical Stardust. And then Caviar Resolution, Lumberjack Empire, finally Megan Claire. As the Philly and Mares have straightened away, three quarters at one minute 16.25 seconds. Magical Stardust with the rail. Happy Sales gets left-handers between horses to gain. One for long to go. And charging here's Caviar Resolution. Now up to Magical Stardust, and they will battle for it past the 16th, coming clear from Happy Sales. They're close to the finish with Anima Schizza. Caviar Resolution, Magical Stardust toward the inside. Caviar Resolution by a short head and a driving finish from Magical Stardust. Happy sales, finish third. And they're off. Came out kicking, broke sharp. Speed from Theo's flu. Mind your biz on the far outside. They're all headed off by Lone Star Max, who's made a dash for it for Jose de Calme. Lone Star Max, the favorite led through the first furlong, tracked by Theo's Flu. Came out kicking, broke sharp, buying for third with Iron Fortune. With on the outside, came out kicking, now sprinted back to fourth. Lone Star Max has the lead past the half mile pole. Then toward the inside is Eliezer, length back then to Mind Your Biz on the far outside, and beaten for pace, Wild Fist trails. They made in sprint. The quarter 22.94 seconds at Eva Money. Lone Star Max to three furlongs from home. Short lead Lone Star Max. Theo's Flu now launching a bid for Manuel Nieves and comes to take on Lone Star Max. In the meantime, gaining on the extreme outside and uh, looking to launch a bid is Iron Fortune for Oriel Chavez, but wide Iron Fortune. Top of the stretch, half mile in 47.66 seconds. It's Lone Star Max. Logging in was Iron Fortune. Theo's Flu has slipped back to third past the eighth pole. Mind your business in fourth. Then Eliezer and Wild Fist. They come past the 16th for Jose Riquelme. Lone Star Max. Lone Star Max, favorite sweep the double. Lone Star Max at second desking one by four. Iron Fortune was second. Mind your biz game third. And Theo's Flu finished fourth. Three to five. Bootsy's Galaxy all in line. They're off and sprinting. Young Tuscan blasting out from a tomorrow. Jeb's Lucky Eight and Alterana on the far outside. But Young Tuscan has the early pace to lead the race for the run to the half-mile pole, and right there toward the inside is Secret Vista. Kobe Hernandez and the 4-5 to five favorite, Bootsy's Galaxy with a red cap, looking to gain in between horses, Young Tuscan by three-quarters length to oppressing Jeb's Lucky Eight as they head to the far turn. And the gray Cryptozonic has drifted back to last. The quarter, 22.18 seconds. They roll around the far turn. Just over three furlongs to go for Young Tuscan. Right there is Jeb's Lucky Eight staying close. Young Tuscan end. Jeb's Lucky Eight. They're about a neck apart coming toward the quarter pole. As Bootsy's Galaxy is now making three path progress. Secret Vista held up with the rail. Ultarana on the far outside. Cryptozonic looks to take closer order as these Louisiana breads have straightened away. Half mile in 45.77. Here's Bootsy's Galaxy's charge. Just above the eighth pole, Bootsy's Galaxy has taken the front, running on toward the inside secret Visca. Young Tuscan Lab has dropped back. Cryptozonic a steady gain on the front outside, now gaining third. But they're close to the finish with Kobe Hernandez. Bootsy's Galaxy, Bootsy's Galaxy, the odds on favorite obliges by three. Secret Vista was second, Cryptozonic third, and Jeb's Lucky eight finish fourth. They're off. 
Infinitesimal broke a beat slow. Mysterious Spirit, Brother Jeff, all together. Star Ready all charging out toward the front, and there's Star Ready with the red cap. It's Star Ready and Mysterious Spirit, the two vying for it as they enter the first turn from Infinitesimal with all together in fourth. Ronald's Gatsbeans looks the to game toward the inside as they go to the back of the track. Hard Kings wide. Carroll Creek in the green cap is deeper out, and the great brother Jeff trails six furlongs from the first line finish. The first two of eight furlongs in 24.10 seconds as they go up the back of the track. And it's Star Ready for Jose Rocalme. Star Ready leads the maiden mile to a half mile from home. Star Ready in front of Mysterious Spirit by two and a half. Toward the inside for Relu Gutierrez. Ronald's Gatsby in his 17th run. He's looking to draw in from third. Infinitesimal close up on the outside. As Star Ready leads Mysterious Spirit as they turn again. Then a break to Hard Kings in fifth. Altogether is sixth. Brother Jeff and the one who tailed off was Carol Creek. Half mile in 48.54 seconds. They round the far turn. And there's Mysterious Spirit for Alexander Castillo. Mysterious Spirit has made a move to take the lead from Star Rennie and Infinitesimal. Right there for Brian Culp with under a quarter of a mile to run. Ronald Gatsby and uh, then father back to all together in fifth as they come for the short stretch. Brother Jeff Hard Kings and Carroll Creek is the distant. Three quarters, one minute 14.79 seconds in the final furlong. It's Mysterious Spirit who leads by three. Infantisimal, second, Gamely. Then comes Ronald's Gatsby, third. Star Ready is fourth. Well clear. It's Mysterious Spirit for Alexander Castillo. Mysterious Spirit. Mysterious Spirit scores by a half length from Infantisimal. Eight lengths away, Ronald's Gatsby third, and Star Ready finished fourth at the first wire. Jeremy Bourgeois looks across the line. They're in the gate. They're off. Toward the inside, by behave with Angel of Verdun taken back to settle. Roya starts a bid. Right there is Total Malice in the yellow silks with a black cap, and since you left... No alternative but to be in the four path as they round the first turn. Seven furlongs to go. And there's Total Malice. So Total Malice kicks on to the front here for Relu Gutierrez and leads. Why behave? And on the outside, sense you left. Why behave in the red cap at the six and a half? Break it two. Roy is running in fourth. Then a break to Angela Burdun, who's second to last and just passing through trails the sextet, making this backstretch run. 23.74 for the lead part. Five furlongs from home. At the inside, it's Total Malice. Brian Hernandez Jr. and Sensu Left is right there with Total Malice heading to the half mile pole. Sensu Left takes the top. Total Malice second to the inside by six. Why Behave looks to draw in from third. Roya in fourth. Angela Burdun and just passing through. The half mile in 47.22. They round the far turn. Sensu Left. Sensu Left. In front of Total Malice by three and a half. A couple more then to Why Behave. Looks to draw in now for Corey Lannery. Roya just passing through. Angel of Verdun is last as these Phillies and Mares turn for home. Sense you left. Spins them in. Three quarters up in 112.50. And the final quarter of a mile. Sense you left has come clear by seven, eight lengths. From Why Behave just passing through, charging on the outside. Then Roya. Total Malice has dropped back. Angel of Verdun. They're coming past the 16th and since you left has the kick brian hernandez jr for grant forster since you left raced away since you left will win decisively since you left by nine on the line from why behave roya third and just passing through finish fourth and they're off Blame the toll strikes out. Jackie Flash in the green cap. Here's Magic Palace who strides up on the outside. Transparency. Royal Blue with the gold sleeves got caught in tight quarters and dives toward the rail. It's Blame the Toll. Went to the front for Relu Gutierrez. Blame the Toll leads. Sultry Lass who challenges up the near side. Right there is Jackie Flash with Transparency in tight quarters. And also right there in between horses is Surrey now in fourth. Magic Palace making progress on the far outside. Surrey in fifth and in tight quarters. Transparency taken back with the rail to settle. Then the newcomer, Kiki Crazy, that filling in the red silks. And lots and lots of gold has drifted back to eighth and last. And the first two of eight furlongs covered in 24.68 seconds. And they have just over a half mile to run. It's Blame the Toll. Blame the Toll generates the pace to Jackie Flash. Magic Palace strides up on the outside, a close third. With nearest the inside, Sultry Lass in fourth. 
Transparency still a tight fifth at the rail. It's a break of three more then to Kiki Crazy as they turn again. Surrey and the trail remains. Lots and lots of gold. Half mile in 48.98 seconds. Blame the toll with just over a quarter of a mile to go. Blame the toll three quarters of length to Magic Palace. Sultry Lass. Jackie Flash has dropped back. Transparency pulled to the front outside. Lots and lots of gold. Surrey and Kiki Crazy as these maiden fillies come for the short stretch. Three quarters, one minute 13.95 seconds. And here comes Sultry Lass. Sultry Lass has taken the lead for Deshaun Parker with a 16th left. Sultry Lass is opening up on Blame the Toll. Then Magic Pellets, Transparency, and Kiki Crazy. But it is Sultry Lass. And Sultry Lass is a going away seven length winner. Blame the Toll was second. Magic Pellets third. Then Transparency and Kiki Crazy. And they're off. Camp Aquila, there's She's Looking Lucky, who's vying for the lead with Camp Aquila in the red cap. Mo Lovin, Layla Song looks for position. Bull Toro is next from the newcomer Calm Cool and in the early stages with seven furlongs to run. Sausalita Verde has dropped back to last while settled. Out in front, it's Camp Aquila. So Camp Aquila leads these maiden fillies to the back of the track for Edgar Morales, six furlongs to run. It's Camp Aquila, three quarters of length to a close-up. She's looking lucky. Layla Song making progress, three deep uncovered. In the meantime, for Adam Eskitsa, Bull Toro, light blue with the goal blocks, saving ground in fourth, making this run toward the half-mile pole. Then Calm Cool, who's vying for fifth, with on the outside the red cap of Mo Lovin, and the trailer remains Salsalita Verde. The quarter in 23.80 seconds. A half mile from home, Camp Aquila, and she's looking lucky. Remain 1-2, half mile 47.38 seconds. They round the far turn, Camp Aquila narrowly. Right there, she's looking lucky with Bull Toro drawing in from third. Layla Song raced wide under pressure in fourth at the two and a half. Calm Cool is a lengths off this leader. Coming toward the quarter pole, then Mo Lovin and Sausalita Verde. It's she's looking lucky who leads past the quarter pole for Deshaun Parker. Three quarters in 112.76. She's looking lucky leads Bull Toro by six. Coming down to the final furlong. She's looking lucky, and she's looking great. Opens up an even wider margin on Boltoro. Then Sausalita Verde coming from last into third. But she's looking lucky in a landslide. She's looking lucky decisively by a dozen lengths. Boltoro was the runner-up. Sausalita Verde third. And a bigger margin back there to Layla Song fourth. Just ahead of Camp Aquila. Calm, cool, beat one home. And they're off. Fast start for New Year's party. There goes the boys' galaxy flashing speed. And the one that was a bit slow to go, Candy's Pride, has dropped out to the back. It's the boys' galaxy joined toward the inside by Case and Sister, who holds the rail for Sophia Barandella. Case and Sisters come away in front of Sharp starting the boys' galaxy. And New Year's party, they're a joint second. Peaceful Vision in the teal cap is now in fourth at the three and a half. Kron's Creed, fifth toward the rail and sixth from the speed as Case and Sister leads to three furlongs from home. Then comes the slow starting Candy's Pride and beaten for speed. Blondie Box Babe trails the state bread sprint here in the Thursday finale. The quarter for Case and Sister 23.42. Top of the stretch, it's Case and Sister who leads them past the quarter pole. Case and Sister in front from New Year's Party who took toward the rail. Charging on the outside, Peaceful Vision. The big white blaze of the boys' galaxy with one for long to go. Case and Sister onto the gun. Here's New Year's Party who's come rallying up the rail now for Manuel Nieves. New Year's Party hits the front. Peaceful Vision. Case and Sisters now third. The Boys Galaxy fourth. It's New Year's Party. New Year's Party prevails by three. Peaceful Vision was second. Case and Sister third. And the Boys Galaxy finished fourth. 